एंड वेलकम टू मेडिकल डायलॉग्स योर डेली डोज ऑफ हेल्थ एंड मेडिकल न्यूज आई एम डॉक्टर नंदिता मोहन एंड टुडे आई विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट वायरलेस स्मार्ट बैंडेज शोस प्रॉमिस इन ट्रीटिंग क्रॉनिक वूंड्स क्रॉनिक वूंड्स कैन लास्ट मंथ्स एंड लीड टू एंजाइटी एंड इवन डिप्रेशन नाउ इन द वर्स्ट केसेस दे आर लाइफ थ्रेटनिंग सो द रिसर्चर्स एट द स्टैनफोर्ड यूनिवर्सिटी नाउ रिपोर्ट दैट दे हैव डेवलप्ड अ वायरलेस स्मार्ट बैंडेज that has shown promise in speeding up the tissue repair by monitoring the wound healing process as well as treating the wound simultaneously so the smart bandage that i'm talking about is composed of wireless circuitry that uses the impedance or a temperature sensor to monitor the progression of the wound healing so if the wound is less healed or an infection is detected the sensors they inform a central processing unit to apply more of electrical stimulation across the wound area bed to accelerate the tissue closure and thereby reduce the underlying infection so the researchers were able to track the sensor data in real time on a smartphone all without the need for wires all that circuitry rides atop a cleverly engineered hydrogel that is integrated to both deliver the healing electrical stimulation to the injured tissue as well as collect the real time biosensor data So the polymer in the hydrogel is carefully designed to adhere securely to the wound surface when needed yet to pull away cleanly and gently without causing any harm to the wound when warmed to just a few degrees above the body temperature so the researchers were able to take galvanotaxis technology and integrate it with real time biosensor data to provide a novel automated treatment modality that is informed by biosensors So they now believe that the electrical stimulation promotes the activation of pro-regenerative genes such as selenop which is an anti-inflammatory gene that has been found to help with pathogen clearance and wound repair as well as apo which has been shown to increase muscle and soft tissue growth. So likewise electrical stimulation increased the amount of white blood cell populations namely the monocytes and the macrophages through the recruitment of greater amounts of M2 anti-inflammatory macrophages which have been previously reported as pro-regenerative as well as playing a key role in the extracellular matrix formation that is actually required during the proliferative phases of wound healing that's all for today stay tuned to medical dialogues for latest updates never miss a medical update from medical dialogues like subscribe and press the bell icon